piece of steel. The split piece was heated and forged in the die by a drop forging hammer. However, this technique no longer satisfies modern demands for precision. Modern manufacturing methods have replaced traditional forging methods. A knife made by Zwilling J. A. Henkels passes through up to 40 manufacturing steps. It starts with the raw material, a special formulated steel made to the requirements of Zwilling J. A. Henkels. The revolutionary forging technique employed by Zwilling J. A. Henkels requires a stamped strip of steel. Subsequently, only that part which will become the bolster is heated. The remaining parts, especially the one which will become the blade, are left untouched in their original premium quality as supplied by the steelworks. At this point, the steel is still soft and workable. Only optimum heat treatment allows its final features to be developed. For that, the steel is heated up to 1000 degrees Celsius in the tempering furnace and is subsequently cooled down below minus 70 degrees Celsius. The final refinement is achieved by reheating the steel to above 250 degrees Celsius. Products manufactured using this specific process are labelled with the brand Friodur. It results in a steel that satisfies the highest demands with high initial sharpness and high edge retention combined with flexibility and corrosion resistance. A number of manufacturing steps follow to give the knife its final shape. For instance, an automatic process is used to shape the bolster. Next, the back of the blade is ground. Subsequently, both sides of the blade are ground to give the knife its typical wedge shape. After grinding, the final high-grade surface finish is applied. Before the next manufacturing steps, the knife is thoroughly cleaned. Subsequently, its name is edged into the knife. Customer requirements can also be catered for in terms of specific etchings. Up to this point, the knife still has no handle. When it comes to fitting the handle of riveted knives, both scales are attached and riveted by machines, making sure that scales and tang are firmly joined. If it's a hollow handle metal knife, the handle is filled with special cement before the tang is inserted. Solid synthetic handles are filled with resin. Having been heated with a coil, the tang is then inserted into the handle. That way, a part of the synthetic compound melts from the inside and inseparably bonds with the tang. During the next grinding step, handle and bolster are adjusted. There will be no burrs left. Soft and pleasant handling guaranteed.
hollow handle metal knives receive the same treatment and are subsequently polished and matte finished. Only at this late stage does the knife receive its sharp edge. Specialists call this process honing. The honing is coarse to start with, then followed by a fine honing to give the knife its sharpness. Knives for the Asian kitchen undergo a special kind of honing. They have a much more acute angle than ordinary knives and the edge also receives an additional polish. These knives glide through foodstuffs especially easily. Zwilling J.A. Henkels constantly monitors quality. A laser meter checks for even the tiniest deviations. Following a final cleaning process, the knife is labelled with the red Zwilling J.A. Henkel's logo as its mark of quality. Critical eyes and hands examine whether the high quality demands of Zwilling J.A. Henkel's are met. In the logistics centre, the product is finally packed and awaits shipment to all corners of the globe.